Okay, just another quick video. Just wanted to show you these turntables or swivel table as it's called here. They're super strong, 360, maximum weight of 220 pounds, 10 inch wide. You can put that on it, a speaker, more plant, plant pots, old tellies, computer model uh, monitors from back in the day. So that's that. So if you're interested, go on eBay and uh, I'm sure you'll be able to find them. So I think I got a load. I've got about five in total. It worked out a bit cheaper to buy them in bulk. Um, I think they worked out. So it was under a fiver each anyway. So yeah, just wanted to show this as well. Look, looking a little bit yellow. I don't know what's going on with the light balance here. Hmm. Let me turn that off. That looks better. That's more natural looking. So yeah, just another little quick base. I'm standing in my own light now. Um, that is a jowl base, just a clear base, and then put a bit of sandpaper on it and some weird edible seeds that I've clumped up with some paint and some more stones from the beach. And on top, we have a uh, Koo models, COO models, uh, original uh, plastic jointed skeleton. Uh, this is one of the old ones. If you look back at my other videos, I might have shown it. I think I have shown it, yeah. And uh, the sword made from scratch. Copied the uh, Go Hero figure, but um, it's not actually screen accurate, the hilt to Jason and the Argonauts. And there's the octopus shield that I crafted from a Halloween bowl. As you can see there, the green plastic underneath. It's a bit rough and ready, but it does the job. And the Pierce de Resistance. Look at that skull. It's got a bit of an overbite there. But yeah, really happy with uh, how this turned out. If you check the other video, it originally was uh, the deaf figure from their uh, coup models, the Grim Reaper, and uh, the skull I have slightly re sculpted around the forehead there and the eyes to make it look more menacing if it focuses come on there we go so yeah that's come out really nice really happy with that it's got a bit of a skeletal look to it Yeah, and incidentally, uh, Koo Models have done a die cast skeleton uh, in the past. And I think it's the same one. It might be a 2.0 version. It's coming soon, maybe January 2020. Check out Kitchen. He's uh, pre-ordering them. And I think they go for about... I oh, know, is it Kitchen? No, it's KG Hobby. Uh, I've got them on pre order for about £59. So I'm thinking of buying about 10 <laughs> because they do go up in value. Um, even these old plastic ones still wear. Yeah. They're probably not worth a lot now because of their. Uh, the new ones coming out but they were quite desirable and hard to find for a while some people 
so they're not anatomically correct but they look like a skeleton to me I think something to do with some of the knee leg bones not right yeah, the shins I think something's not right or they're back to front big as a fuck they look good but you know if you're all about accuracy I suppose that is quite a big um, thing I think they look right to me hmm it all looks good to me the only problem with these ones is the the joints are rubbish very brittle I've had to wear uh, I got this and it was broken. I've had to glue most of the joints. It'll probably break on camera, you watch. It is just glued to the base. Um I'm thinking maybe if I get maybe two mounted onto this this type of base it would look quite good. Uh, if you had like a Greek soldier to Battle, uh, Jason and Argonaut sort of styly figure. That would look pretty cool. Yeah, pretty uh, happy how the shield turned out. The edging's a bit shit, but yeah, uh, come out all right. I think it's a little bit big. I think it's slightly too big, but. Uh, Overall, really happy how the whole figure's turned out. So yeah, just a quick video to show the figure, show the turntable, and uh, just a heads up for people if they are interested in the Koo models, skeletons with the metal joints, KG Hobby is the place to go. And uh, it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from him. Goodbye.